Amanda Turner here, along with William Harvey Turner. And we are here to talk about the pathetic performance that we saw in Monday Night Football this evening. Um, the Houston Texans paid, played the Denver Broncos. I knew that this was not going to be the greatest game. I, I did not expect the Texans to win. However, <laughs> this was a joke. Um, the number of the night is 20, and that's how many passing yards we have in the first quarter. We had 20 passing yards in the first quarter. Our quarterback was 4 for 11 with 20 passing yards. He passed for 129 yards in the entire game. 129 yards the entire game. I can't, that's a joke. We need to call Berkeley Eye Center. We need to get, I mean, the man's making $72 million, so he can afford glasses, contacts, LASIK, whatever. But he doesn't see who he's throwing to. I don't know what he's throwing to. I, I really don't. I'm kind of concerned about his eyesight because there's really no player in the vicinity of where he's throwing to. I remember him throwing. Then again, he threw into triple, co triple coverage, by the way. He overthrew. DeAndre Hopkins several times. I'm like, who is down there? What? You're not even putting the ball out there for him to make an attempt to catch. I mean, at least put it out there for him to be able to make an attempt. It's just really poor. It's really poor play. And um, our head coach is supposed to be, quote, the quarterback whisper. I'm yet to see it. Yet to see the quarterback whisper. Because... Um, <laughs> We've had some crummy quarterbacks, and we just can't seem to get over that hump. But um, this is all on our quarterback play. It, the one good thing, he didn't throw an interception. Did not throw an interception. So, hey, that's great. However, he did have this really bumbling look, and it was bumbling, by the way. My four-year-old son could throw a better pass than this. They called it a fumble. It looked like some bumbling forward pass. Pitiful looking. In the third quarter, Texans fans, you know what I'm talking about. I, I, I can't even, I was up, I'm like, what is that? I don't even, I, the words can't describe what that garbage was. So I am going to write a note to Roger Goodell, and I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, please stop putting the Texans in prime time. Stop. We need to play at noon on Sundays. Dear Roger, don't let the Texans play in prime time. Please, you're going to lose ratings because we don't know how to play football in prime time. We stink, we suck, and we just don't know what we're doing. Keep us at noon on Sundays, and we'll be somewhat okay. We might give you a chance, but prime time, mm -mm. we never can do well, so please don't. We don't want any more prime time games. As a Houston Texans fan, we don't want any more noon on Sundays. Thank you very much. So next week, we play um, Matthew Stafford and the Detroit, the Detroit Lions. That is a noon game, thank God, so maybe we can get something done. I mean, I think these teams are evenly matched. However, I do think um, Matthew Stafford is a better quarterback than what we have, although our quarterback's making $72 million. And at this rate, he should be passing for 400 yards each game, but he's not. So um, we'll keep it at that. So anyway, we are still at the top of the AFC South, which, by the way, is the worst division in football. Um but we're still number one of the worst division in football. So Texans get it together. Come on, get it together. JJ's gone. He's not going to be back. Um, we've had a lot of injuries in our secondary. Um, we had a really key injury on our offensive line tonight. Who, my God, I think he's got two torn something in his knees. I don't, poor guy. Anyway. We've got a lot of key injuries. We need all the help we can get. But our quarterback has to come. He's the key. He is the key to turning this around. He needs to display some sort of leadership in getting this turned around. So 
Um, I'm really hoping that I've got better news to report next week, but tonight, pitiful performance. Just pitiful. So, we will be back for our pregame show, a new feature, um, next week on Sunday morning. And then we will be back on Sunday night for our um, Texans rant, Harvey and I. He'll be a little bit more lively on Sunday evening. So, peace out.